Hi guys, so in this video I'm just going to be showing you how to pass a value from one form to another form. So the first thing we want to do is just select new project, Windows form application, and let's just call it multiple forms. Click OK. Then that will initially open our form 1 where we're going to be receiving our value to send to the next form. So for that we just want a label and we want a text box and we want a button. Okay, so our label, we want to change the name part of that which is what the computer is going to see to LBL word and we want to change the text part of that to word. Then we want to change our text box, the name part of that to txt word. And our button, the name we'll just change that to btn submit and then the text part of that which is what we see, we'll just change to submit. That's basically form 1 besides the actual code that we're going to be doing on the submit button. But before we get to that, let's just quickly design form 2 and actually enable form 2 to receive a parameter because the default constructor doesn't actually allow for that. So it's Windows form, let's just call that one form 2 Okay, and on form 2 we want to take a label and we want this form to receive a, a value and basically place that value in this label. So for now let's just call this display. Okay, that's what we're going to see. Then what the computer is going to see. We're just going to call that LBL display. Okay, so we want that to happen when this form actually loads. So let's double click on the form itself and you'll see there done a form to load which means the moment that this form loads whatever code is put here that's what's going to execute. So let's go up here and enable this to actually receive a value. So what we want to firstly do is just create a public system string over here. So this can be viewed throughout this whole class file. So to do that we're just going to say string and we can call it word. Then we're going to copy the default constructor and we're just going to place it over here and by copying it and changing the parameters we're just going to basically overload it. So instead of it being void we're going to change it to string and we can just call it text. That's going to be local to the constructor. Now when this form receives this text variable which will be passed from our form 1 over here we want it to take that and assign that to our public string over here. So we'll say our public string is word and we would like that to equal text. And once we've done that we want on the form load the LBL display the text property of that we want it to equal word which is our public string variable. Okay then in our form 1 we want this to action when we click on our submit button. So you'll see I double clicked on the submit button and it opened an event handler for a click on the submit button. Now the first thing that we want to do in this class file is just go to the top and ensure that we include our form2.h. Now once we've done that and we click on our button we want to create an object of form2. So we'll just call that object f, we say gc new form2. Now that pretty much looks like opening a default form, calling the default constructor. 
Now what we done is we overloaded the constructor so that we can send it a parameter and we're going to be sending it the txt word text property and once we've done that we would like to hide this form so we'll just hide this one then we'd like to show a dialog uh, show dialog of our object of form 2 and then once we close that we would like to once again show our form 1 Okay, so let's just quickly build this. Okay, and you can see build one succeeded. So let's just run this quickly. Now whatever we type in here, so let's type testing. We're going to expect this to now display where the label was on form 2. Okay, so you can see it's now displaying testing on our form 2. So that's great, but now let's try something a little different. So currently on our form 2, we've got it so it changes immediately. But now just so that we can try something a little different, let's add a button onto this form. So here we've got a button and let's call this button change. So now instead of the value changing immediately when the form loads, let's have a change when we actually click this button. So I'll call this button btn change. And then just double click on the button so it creates an event handler for the button. Then we're going to cut our code there and just paste it in the buttons code. Now what we want to do as well is just to make the code look a bit neater, we'll delete this form to load and if we do that we are also just going to have to delete the form to event handler or else we're going to have compilation errors. So let's just try building this again now. Okay, this had built successfully. Let's run it. Just change it to testing. Click submit. Okay, and we see there's our default message display. If we click change, it changes to testing. Okay, I hope that managed to help you guys.